Good evening and welcome back to Astro Colony where I think it's about time we started working on some automation. Seems like a good day. We have our asteroid catcher grabbing the asteroids. It's grabbing all the bits and pieces here, which is awesome. Uh, we want to smelt the iron and the copper into ingots and we have a smelter over here that can do that for us. And it's more efficient than doing it ourselves. So we definitely want to be doing it. So how do we do that? Well, it's easy. It's easy. It's got two inputs on the back. And this has got an output here and the output over here. And what we can do is uh, just build conveyor belts between the two. So we need to work on those. Do we have any conveyor belts? We have, oh, the icebreaker I've got because I picked that up because it's this weird thing. So let's go to our technology and see here. So we have conveyor belts here, but they require plates. We don't have plates yet. So how do we get plates? Let's have a look see here. So we can make plates in our inventory by turning iron bars into things there. So let's uh let's let's just turn all our iron bars into those. Well, turn five of them. We'll turn five of them into plates. So we get ten plates. Um and then uh we can go I don't think nope, they're not in our action bars anywhere. So let's do that. Let's go to three. Let's go to our build mode. Uh, K, K is a menu. Um, and paths under pathing, we have Kaveba, and I'm going to drag it down to there. Oh, there we go. Okay. But um, here is Kaveba. Okie dokie. We have 10 plates, we have 7 wires, so we can build 7 seven Kaveba's. We need 1, 2, 3. Right, hang on. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's rotate this to face that way. We need. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We need fifteen. Okay, so we need more layouts. Uh, oh, and we need more wire. More, more, uh, more iron plates, I should say. So let's um, convert the rest of our stuff to that. Let's make some more wire as well. That's easy enough. What do we need for it? Oh, uh, F3, 1, 1, 1. Okay, there you go. 13. This should do. Right, so uh, from these, these auto output onto belts, um, if you have belts next to them, uh, there are ways to. The auto outputs, but there are ways to filter what you grab because it will always grab the first item in the building. So, um, oh, I don't have enough wire. Uh, maybe some more wire. Okay. However, you probably see there's a problem here. Um, this is carbon. Carbon does not smelt. Let's, let's just go. Um, oh. Q. Keep pushing the wrong buttons. Sorry. Uh, playing multiple games, get yourself confused. Um, carbon does not smelt. If we go to the recipes here, even if we look at this here, so we'd have iron plates and carbon to make iron blocks. But we don't have that unlocked yet. So carbon does not smelt. So this isn't going to work. However, it doesn't matter. I keep pressing the wrong button. It doesn't matter because, as you can see, the carbon will happily go into here. All machines will accept anything you put in them. Anything at all, they will go in there. So the smelter will accept the carbon into it. However, because the carbon is not used in any recipes, it will just ignore it in its inventory. If its inventory is full, obviously it won't accept anything because it's full, we can't do anything. Ice, ice is gonna come in here. We can't do anything with the ice, but it's just gonna sit here. If we have a belt on this side coming out, then the uh, the items that aren't used, so the iron will get processed into iron ore, so that will stay, but the ice and the carbon will leave the smelter. So technically, you could have a row of smelters and you have like the first one doing iron bars and the second one doing copper bars and the third one doing gold bars and all in a big row and you could run the output from a catcher into all three of them just so it goes into the first one then into the second one then into the third one and it will only smelt the things you want to do now the problem is that when you come at the end you've got a belt with ice copper uh, sorry ice carbon uh, iron bars copper bars and gold bars all on it at once so you have to sort that out so you don't really want to do that but you could you absolutely could however we want to steal the carbon from this so um let's do uh, oh no it's control 
I don't want to put it into it here because we've uh, run out of power. So there we go. Okay. Now this only produces 10 power here. Um, and if we mouse over it, you can see here, we currently have uh, six power required. Now, because it's only running at 60%, it's actually using less carbon. It actually burns slower. So you don't have to worry about it wasting resources. However, if you go above the 10, it will use 100% of the resources and not be able to provide power, which means some of these buildings will run slower. They don't stop, they just run slower. You can disable buildings. There is a button up here to them, so we could turn off the Astro Catcher when it's not in use. And then if we go here, you see now we're down to 40% load. So buildings that aren't even doing anything do drain your power. So just be aware of that. It's a, a thing you can, so you can turn it on off whenever you want to. So um, I think we'll grab a gold mine. So we haven't done any gold yet. And we'll grab like kind of a, uh, well, let's get a carbon actually. Oh. Oop. Loop. There you go. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and this has been smelting. And there you go. Look, we've got 20 iron bars. We've got six copper bars. And as the thing, the, the catcher smells down, it just comes along. It'll come into here. It will sit in the inventory until they get enough of whatever they need to get to. And then it'll uh, it'll just post it. So here we go. Here comes more, more copper. So the copper starts going. Gold. Gold starts going. And it all just sits in there. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Very simple. Very easy. The fact that all machines can accept anything you put in them. So if we had a, a split on the belt here, um, the uh, carbon reactor will accept anything into its inventory. It just won't use it. There is, however, no output for it. So you can't output from that. So you really don't want to be putting stuff into the carbon reactor apart from carbon. So how would we do that? How would we push all our carbon into there rather than have it come down to the smelter? Well, that would be with this one here, logistics blocks. Yes, we need this box. We'd also want uh, the auction barrier, but for that, I need engineering. Um, we don't have any engineering yet. So let's go to the logistics box set. That's 20. So let's go and get some more science. And the easiest way to get science is to um, break rocks. So I'm going to go and break some rocks. Um, I might, uh, we can we can double it. So if we get this, oh, there's my buttons. Um, if we grab one here, I'll grab that one there. Um, you can be doing things there, and then we can go out and uh, start mining. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Um, that's what I wanted. Okay, so I'm going to mine some rocks, and I'm going to try and get 20 uh, basic sites, which actually should be really, really easy. Uh, oh, we don't have a booster pack, so I can't do that. See, every time I hit it, I get uh, some basic sites coming in, so... Okay, so we've got enough science to do the Lee logic blocks. So let's put them in, shall we? Let's put them in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a block there. Right there. Oh, not push that button. Keep pushing the button. Um, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that here, you see this is a green input and this is a red output, um, uh, is um, that here we split our belt. So carbon goes this way. So I'm going to go to the last um, element here uh, because the last uh, actually, so we're going to F7 because logic is something I use a lot of. So having all of the logic blocks on here is nice. Oh, we don't have time is unlocked yet. So we have a blocker, we have a filter, and there's a splitter as well. And there's other blocks as well, which uh, you can do some advanced stuff with logic. So it's quite nice. So uh, what I'll do is I basically want to put down a pusher. Now all logic blocks are free. Um, you don't have to worry about putting they don't have to they don't cost you anything so put a pusher there this pusher will do exactly what it says it will push all of our resources that way we don't want that we only want it to do one thing so we'll edit it and we will put carbon in there you can put up to five items in there and um, to push this away but we don't want to do those but we just want to do carbon so what will happen is all carbon that comes down here will get pushed this way anything that's not carbon will continue along pusher does exactly what it says on the tin it pushes items the way you have it directed and you can have multiple things set up to it you can later on do things with logic so you could say hey if this has got I don't know, 10 inside it turn that off so that the carbon continues on because we might want to use carbon somewhere else so you, know, you can you can set up uh logic gates and things with this so it's, uh, it's quite nice it's quite nice let's um Let's grab our iron. Let's, sorry, let's grab the iron and copper from this. Um, leave the gold in there for a minute. Uh, in fact, uh, I might grab the uh, carbon as well. 
I don't think I can put items back in here. Can I? Okay, awesome. So let's watch this work. So yeah, there we go. It's being pushed into there. So all the carbon that we end up in, in the catcher we end up in our power instead, which is fine. For the time being, this is fine. We, we'll just stack the power up. It's not a problem. So if I go into this guy here and I grab a carbon rock, and then I go and grab a uh, another carbon rock, I suppose, because that's all that appears to be available right now. Um, when it breaks it down, it will come out. It will do. It will be automatic. Everything will be awesome. We want to get the automatic version of that. That would be nice. So let's look in the tech tree for that sort of thing. Where can we get the automatic versions? Drilling. Uh, drilling is um, we went up to a planet up there and we saw there's a copper node up there. Um, so we can mine that with a drill. And uh, then we can bring that back. We have to manually do that for the moment because we can't move our station. Um, however, that's not what I want. I would like to get the auction going because our auction is running low again. So I want to get this going. This requires engineering or con uh, is it engineering? Yeah, engineering science. Engineering science can only be done in a laboratory. So let's build a laboratory. Okay, a device laboratory. Oop. Okay, we're going to put this. Um, I'll put it right there, Boom. and that will connect to the power source automatically because it does. There you go. Okay, and we've got a new tutorial thing that pops up. You're still asleep, so that's fine. Uh, the laboratory, um, I don't think uh, we can't go inside it. You can have NPCs in the game and they will go inside your laboratories and do things for you. Some science is only generated that way, so be aware of that. Um, I am also going to very quickly um, grab uh, some of that. Uh, in fact, can I grab two of those? And uh, can we? I've got some ice on me as well. Oh, I've got I've got loads of stuff on me that I don't. Let's um dump all this in there and get that going. There you go. Boom. Okay, that's where it should all be. Awesome. Just to fill up my oxygen a little bit, so I don't die whilst I'm explaining things. Or more importantly, don't die when I'm trying to remember things, because. <laughs> I'm all trying to remember this. This this is all this all so far is the same to what I played it before. Um uh so um it's okay for the minute, but we will soon get into territory that I do not recognise, so it'll be fine. Okay, research. <clears throat> we want to do engineering research. It requires uh two iron bars and two copper bars. Okay. So let's put um do you know what? Let's just put all those in there. But and it will start going automatically. This has a recipes list. So you can say, hey, do one engineering, do two engineering, do five engineering, do whatever you want to do. You know, you can tick it or untick it how you want to do. We want four engineering science. This is going to get us one. One. Um, so we need another four copper bars, uh, iron bars, sorry. We've got six. Let's grab all six. Let's throw all six into here. Inventory. Uh, control click. There you go. Boom. That will generate more. We want to generate five as well for the tutorial thing, so that's fine. Uh, but once we get to the four, because this is queued, it will auto pop this here. So we can then make the auction barrier, which requires, interestingly, two gold bars. So we need to grab ourselves a gold a copper in it. That's an ice one. You can see in the uh, right hand side, just above where it says auction barrier now, when I'm looking at an asteroid, it tells you what's inside them. Any gold? Any gold anywhere? No gold? No gold. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay, well, let's grab the copper one. Let's grab... A few to come along here. Zoop. Let's grab another copper one. And we'll go and manually try and find one. Let's see if we can find one on the other side. Copper, copper. I'm looking inside them because sometimes they contain more than one thing. Um, so, like, for instance, uh, that contains iron and copper. Oh, gold. Let's see what I wanted to do. Um, it seems if I'm far away and I click on an asteroid, it will get the grapple out. But if I'm close by and click it, it will get the miner out, which is... No, that's okay. That's okay. okay. Any more gold? Round? No. Gold is quite difficult to find. 
Uh, these asteroids come in, they spawn all the time, and just and just they're all around you, all around you all the time. They're like, like space is full, space is full of resources. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, planetoids have a dense amount of resources on them, so like maybe this one up here has got a, um, that's got iron deposit on it. It says that's got copper deposit. It actually says so on the right hand side. I didn't notice that before. Um, that's got carbon deposit. Any other asteroids around? I can just float on over about falling. Can't see that one, it's too far away. That's too far away. That one's too far away. Although that one looks like an ice planet, and that's a green planet down there, so. Okay. Okay, so we've got copper, carbon, iron near us. There is a map. If I press M, there is a big galactic map. If we zoom out, do, and I hold right click, I can go around. And these are all the planetoids that are nearby us. There's none above our heads, that's quite good. And if you click on any of them, they become centralized. It tells you what's on them. So this has got carbon. The main resource is carbon. However, it's actually got more iron on it than carbon. Uh, it's got aluminium, copper, and uranium. Uh, this one has got gold um, and it has wheat. Um, this one has got gold. This has got loads of gold. That one's got loads and loads of gold. We want to probably go down to that one. Let's target Tyke. Um, that's a carbon deposit one. That's the uranium deposit one. Okay, so by targeting it, if I come in here, now it should be highlighted. So we want to go down there at some point. Can't do that yet. Um, I need uh, auction for the stuff that. So, and we just unlock the auction thing. So let's do that. Let's do that. Hey, okay. I believe it's a device as well. Yep, most stuff is in devising. There's loads of folks, but most important things are in device. Um, in... So we want auction barrier. Okay. A bomb. So we need 16 wire and two copper. Uh, sorry, iron, not copper, iron. Let's put that in there. Um, let's grab this and then go to our inventory and make. Uh, so we've got three. Make another five of those. That's 15. That'd be enough. Okay. Uh, let's get you. Oh, cancel, 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 cancel. Let's get you um, getting some more. I think copper is going to be the stuff we want a lot of at the moment. Got two copper in it. These only have 180 degrees um, view, so you can't look behind you. Have enough copper node. But, um, that's got copper in it. We want to go down to. If we go down to tight, we can start mining stuff down there. We should really just stop mining this one, actually. But um, we need to get power up there, so we'd have to get more. Um, mobile power running which isn't terribly complicated but isn't super easy either so uh okay okay can we build this thing here so k auction generate yes we can awesome uh i'm gonna put it uh right here but don't they go we're probably taxing our network about now i would have thought how are we doing we are yeah 120 percent. so we're running full power and we're not we don't actually have enough to do all the things we're doing however we now have an auction dome. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Badum. See this here? This is a dome of auction. When we're inside here, we will um, not use our auction. That is, if we have auction canisters for it. I saw gold. I saw gold. I got distracted. Um, so, how do we do that? How do we do that? Well, we come to this guy here. And we say, hey, you. Would you make us auction tanks? Which we can tick now. Boom. Just requires water. That's all it is. You make an auction tank from water. I'm not sure how they do that. Um, I mean, how you get auction from water, you strip the hydrogen off and you're left with auction. But I'm not sure how you get a canister from it when you have got no other input. Uh, unless it's a solid hydrogen can canister filled with auction. Ah, maybe. Um, boom. There you go. Now. See that disappear? It appeared and then instantly disappeared. And our auction is going up. If you look in the bottom corner here, our auction is actually raising. That's because this automatically grabs from any inventory in its range oxygen containers and starts just filling. Starts just filling. So um, as it goes, it will start filling and do things. You do need this for colonists. Obviously, they need to breathe. They need to be able to breathe. So. So you need to have this. You don't have to have all your machines inside the area, though. This is the thing. You only really need it where you've got your science, so that where they live. 
and food things and stuff so you need auction for food so so when we come to actually design our spaceship we'll probably have thinking maybe a dome in the center and then like maybe it'd be more of a space station that moves <laughs> rather than a yeah i think probably be a space station that moves rather than a a, a, a ship so it'll have a dome in the center of the auction and then below that dome i think is where we'll have like smelters and all our industry and stuff and then on the arms we will have um the grabbers the the uh the asteroid catchers so they can point all four directions so that's the whole point i want four, i want at least four of them you grab point all four directions and grab stuff so that's the idea we'll see we'll see how it goes it's probably just gonna have four arms on each side and then maybe a dome in the center i'll, I'll figure it out we'll we might, i want to try and build an actual dome an actual physical dome um that's the size of this thing here so it's it's uh yeah we will see we will see there are many many uh different things to build you can see there are there are angle pieces and shapes and other things so yeah there's plenty to go um how are you doing for this so you are still making you're going to use up all the water that you have that's fine uh, this is a situation where logic comes into play uh, your icebreaker as you saw in the previous episode always consumes ice it just constantly breaks ice and produces water even if there's nowhere for that water to go it's just wasted it just disappears it's always done it um i think it's a game choice um the actual fact that it spins when there's nothing inside it is not a game choice that's a known issue but um it's apparently one of those weird bugs that just doesn't make sense so it can't be squashed but it doesn't affect the game so it's not doesn't matter um but you might want to have logic turning on and off the icebreaker depending on how much water you have so if you've got like half a tank of water you'd be like oh turn off the icebreaker now don't do any more and if you've got under half a tank of water turn it back on again so we took the water up that sort of thing so we will get to that i like logic it's something that we will definitely get to so also i'm not sure whether it shows yes it does so it always shows what the pushers are when you when you look you can, you can see them at a glance as what they are which is quite nice quite nice so what's next what's next well i suppose the next thing to do is um to get some more automation going that's not a technology tree let's go down here we have construction we want to make a constructor constructors can create plates for us automatically so we want to do that what I want to really aim for, if I go down the list here, I would like this, this guy here. This is the important one, the automatic catcher. This is the guy that catches asteroids just automatically. You, you put it in there, you put a filter in it, and you say, I want you to capture carbon asteroids. And they just capture carbon asteroids, and that's all they do. So to get that, we however need the cosmic harpoon and manufacturing. To get manufacturing, we require automation. To get automation we require robotics and robotics requires construction and cosmic cartoon requires drilling so i'm going to click drilling because we can get that instantly because we have the resource for that i'm going to do a cosmic harpoon as well Boom. we do need a little bit more science for that that's not a problem however the cosmic harpoon may help us out may help us out we don't have engines or anything yet do we oh we got hydrogen electric thrusters oh maybe 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 we'll come down here actually let's do that for 20 let's do this one for 28 let's capture some asteroids so what i'm gonna do i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna uh, unlock engines cosmic harpoon and uh, construction construction requires six so um let's just grab this here oh we need more iron don't we yeah so so i'm just gonna grab loads of asteroids grab loads of iron asteroids and we shall be back once i've grabbed load of iron asteroids and we can research uh new things i think and that'll be in the next episode so between episodes i will grab all the stuff thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one i can't see any <laughs> no there's no iron asteroids really really come on come on come on you can do it you can do it you gotcha yay awesome okay thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you have enjoyed this one and i do hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun